parents. Yeah, and it's both. <laughs> Welcome, NRCC viewers. My name is Julia Yuga Doman, interior designer from Inspire Design. I go for NRCC to visit members that have special locations to show the community what's all about. Today we are visiting Athene Palace Hilton, so let's go inside. So here we are together with Simona Marzak, the Director of Sales in Le Colonnade. Welcome, Yelia. Hello, Simona. <laughs> Thank you for receiving us. It's always a pleasure to show my beautiful hotel. <laughs> um, Simona, how do NRCC members know you from? Well, the first time we've met, it was uh, the first uh, Orange Night that was organized by Maurit, the actual uh, executive director of uh, NRCC. Which was a great success, uh, was a great uh, party. For sure. Orange Night. <laughs> I remember that we had really good feedback and uh, it was really an impressive event from your side as well, but also from our side. Um, and we had uh, tables all over, even here where we are now. In the Le Colonnade, no? Together with, uh, with the other, Le Diplomat. Which yes. is a very big room and I'm happy to see it. I cannot wait to see that one too. So uh, also NRCC has other events here too, right? Uh, yes, they have their knowledge center uh, on the first floor in the small meeting rooms that we have. And from time to time, we organize other particular events. Well, Simona, you know I'm an interior designer, and uh, I I really noticed that this uh, sala it's spectacular, it's grandiose. I uh, saw that the pillars are all marble, and floor it's all marble. Indeed, it's all marble and uh, crystals and uh, golden. Um, it's an impressive building, very beautiful, and um, this kind of uh, style, decoration, uh, it's unique in the hotels in Bucharest. Yes, uh, I uh, know that is uh, the style of Ludovic XIV with many decorations and uh, spectacular in interior. And uh, you mentioned the crystals, which they really create a beautiful environment and it's glittering, the light's really glittering. It has Barovsky someday. Oh! <laughs> and uh, you mentioned about Le Diplomat, the sala. So it's our ballroom, it's our jewelry, how I love to say. Um, the most beautiful event in the city actually took place in this uh, ballroom and uh, it continues to welcome uh, unique event. Can we see it? Of course. Show us, we are very anxious. Let's go! <laughs> well, this is really impressive. Tell me that this was actually <coughs> like 100 years ago. It was. The ballroom, uh, it was built once with the hotel in 1914. And uh, being a historical monument, um, we always need to maintain as it is. Uh, of course, yes. during the years, we need to do some smaller refurbishments here and there, uh, but uh, everything has to remain like it is. Because it's from a historical monument and you need to keep the elements. Indeed, and we want to keep it actually, because it's so beautiful. And I really like the ceiling. It has beautiful decorations from Ludovic XIV style with vitrail you have it's vitrail it's vitrail. with 24 pieces <laughs> all together um, and uh, it's also something that it gives uh, grandeur as you said yes <laughs> yes um, it's a and be masterpiece in all that it is yes and the ceiling being lit it with, so with light it becomes even uh, bigger and it splashes a lot of light inside. It's really a comfortable interior. You, you have here, I think, many events. A lot of events. We have social events. We have uh, um, launching uh, events. Uh, we have gala dinners. Um, we had uh, really a unique event. It was uh, 
the dinner that we hosted in um, 2008, uh, the presidential dinner during the NATO summit, oh. where <laughs> at only one table we had really powerful names as uh, Angela Merkel, George Bush, Vladimir Putin. You fit a lot of people here, like how many people can fit in this room? A uh, round table um, without dancing floor would be 220 people, but in case uh, there's a real party and uh, they need a dancing floor, then we recommend the maximum of 180 people. Okay, because what I realized here, and I like it very much, is the chimney <laughs> that is made of marble. Yes, it's... Uh, green marble, and you have also, uh, like, statues yes. become, like, um, let's say, like, uh, Zeus, no? Or um, different mythological uh, personage. Yeah, we can say that it's Characters. The, the gods of the hotel here. Yes. <laughs> But was this chimney here all this time? Uh, well, no. Um, we are here in the initial building of the hotel that uh, was opened in uh, 1914, as we said previously. But the chimney itself, uh, it was moved here when we have added the new wing of the hotel in the 60s. Um, the initial position of the chimney was in the back of Le Colonnade where it's oh, been. It, it looks like it was always here <laughs> because it has a perfect place when you come inside and then you see the beautiful chimney yes. with a big painting. With the painting and with all this uh, arrangement with the arcade that yes. it integrates it perfectly. Yes, and also the golden uh, leaves and decoration they are plated, golden plated, they are also shine. And also I saw that the floor, the carpet, has uh, exactly the round shape as the ceiling. Yes, uh, this is the idea of uh, um, the Hilton designer, to have the um, round shape from the ceiling projected in the carpet as well, to have this uh, mirroring uh, idea. Yes. So uh, it has to be like that, of course, to yes. respect the to respect rules this uh, of design. This room. Yes, the previous carpet that we had had the same uh, um, idea, and probably the next one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we know already. In case they didn't, uh, yes. they don't change anything in between. I like very much that you have around this cozy draperies, drapes, and they, I, I noticed they also shine a little bit, so they have like uh, silk. Uh, we have chosen this uh, very warm color to integrate, uh, uh, as we said, with the golden crystal. Uh, and to create, of course, the luxury, because uh, gold reflects luxury, and this is how it is here, a beautiful room which can hold a lot of events. We are now in the modern part of the hotel, uh, first floor, we call it the uh, Hilton Meetings, uh, where we have the business center, uh, the small meeting rooms uh, with direct access to the uh, terrace on the first floor, um, and also a coffee center. Um, in this uh, area, we organize uh, coffee breaks, uh, uh, sometimes even standing lunches for the guests that uh, have events in the uh, meeting rooms here. So it's actually an area where people meet and mingle and uh, they can have coffee, of they course. can have breaks. It's actually really modern. It's opposite the other area, the old building, let's say, and this is the new building. I like very much the wood that is on walls. It creates a very cozy interior and uh, the wall lamps are very chic, <laughs> chic modern. I like yes. this. It's indeed the opposite of what we've seen previously in Le Diplomat, but I like it a lot. And uh, about the design, I'm sure that you can tell us more. Yes, I, I know. I have done a project here. I, uh, I refurbished this uh, place and I liked it very much to uh, combine uh, elements with wood and textile. Of course, to bring it to the cozy environment for the people, no? Because they spend quite a lot of time here during the day. So they need to feel uh, 
warm, they're relaxed and to socialize and not to feel that pressure on them. And uh, yes, I it, this is uh, one of my favorite plays. And then RCC has the sno uh, knowledge centers also here, now in the... Yes, uh, here, usually in the uh, NSCO meeting room. NSCO is a um, modular meeting room uh, with uh, three modules. Um, and it uh, can accommodate up to 150 person in theater style. Oh, that is a lot. <laughs> we can switch to different setups uh, as uh, cabaret, classroom style. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they are really used for uh, trainings, uh, for uh, uh, board meetings, um, but also sometimes in the evening we can organize a cocktail here. That's really nice, and I of course like the chandelier <laughs> again with crystals, of course, of course Swarovski. And uh, I know that you can also change the color of the lights here to create a different mood. That's good to socialize here and to have business talks. It's a really good place. I like it. Yes, and for us uh, that we have the office here. Um, Sometimes we are coming for spending just uh, four or five minutes, uh, uh, lay in this comfortable armchair, uh, have to recharge. a coffee. I like that you have plants inside. They bring freshness to the space. Yes, it brings freshness, uh, oxygen, color. Uh, it brings uh, nature inside our building. We are in Enesco now. Uh, the modular meeting room that I told you about uh, previously. Uh, we are now between NSCO 1 and NSCO 2. So you can close it right here if you want. We can close it exactly right here. And we can see there um, in the back, that is the uh, second wall. And uh, of course, uh, back of the wall, it's the third NSCO. <laughs> I like that the uh, doors are plated with uh, wood. Yes, it would everywhere because we kept the same idea as we seen on the lobby. Um, and um, all these uh, round shapes on the carpet, um, it gives the, um, the amplitude flow. and the flow. Because of, uh, this comes from uh, the flow of the carpet from the lobby. And from the lobby, with the round lobby and with yes. the round chandelier that we've seen. So we are maintaining this uh, uh, curve idea of the design. Yes. We discussed earlier that uh, from the meeting room you can go directly outside on the terrace. Hmm. Um, yes, and the access can be made uh, exactly here because from every piece of uh, uh, the meeting room there is a door. Oh, and that's a big terrace. Yeah, and it's cold oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big terrace. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we are in Roberto's, our main restaurant. Um, it's, uh, we are using it for breakfast, of course, uh, buffet style for lunch. Uh, but in the evening, we switch to a la carte. It's really like modern, it. again, it's modern, but I see a little bit of uh, Art Deco touch, like the lamps. I like the floor very much because it looks like it's raw wood. It's warm color, again, very receiving atmosphere here. As I said, Roberto's, it comes uh, from uh, uh, an Italian origin. Um, we have Italian cuisine and they are warm as well, no? Yes, of course, <laughs> Latin. <laughs> Latin spirit. Um, and I see here that you have some Japanese panels. Um, <laughs> what do they serve? If you call them like this, um, we have um, chose this uh, uh, possibility to split the space. From the middle area, Julia, we are now passing through the open kitchen uh, uh, space. Oh, that's really nice. And we have here? And yeah. we have here the chefs. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. What are you cooking here? <laughs> we do here our uh, lunch and uh, dinner for Roberto's restaurant. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really nice. And then people can see what you're cooking, actually. Exactly. It's an open kitchen. It's an open kitchen, and uh, there are only a few days since we have uh, uh, changed our menu. Of course, under the signature of uh, team, our new, new chef executive. Simona, thank you very much for showing us this wonderful hotel. <laughs> thank you as well, Julia. And uh, I will welcome you anytime, as well as the NRCC members. See you soon! <laughs>